Are you ready for transgender superheroes? Welcome back to Andrew Says I Wouldn't Lie to You, except for maybe this once. Are you ready? You know I am. According to CNN, a transgender character is coming to the Marvel Universe. You're welcome, everybody. Because of my pushing, we've achieved it. And I have to tell you right away that we don't know if it's going to be an X-Men or what it's going to be. I just think X-Men would probably be the funniest. Maybe Wolverine gets a sex change and his self-healing body won't let him commit to the sex change. Keeps turning him back to the old gender. Uh, Cyclops, probably the biggest wuss. I would make him the candidate. He's always crying about his wife. His wife is in love with Wolverine. So is this, my head hurts. I can't open my eyes. Cyclops, let's grow a set. Let's get into this story. Marvel Studios President Kevin Feige confirmed the news during a question and answer session Saturday at the New York Film Academy. A student asked Feige if, if, mistake CNN, asked if there were any plans to add more LGBTQ characters to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, specifically transgender characters. Yes, absolutely yes, Feige said, very soon in a movie we're shooting right now. So to that I would say, why? Who cares? And does this decision actually make you money? And I think the answers to those would be to placate Hollywood, very few people, and no, I don't think it'll make you extra money. Now, my friends and I talk about this, like when Democratic candidates, for example, are uh, pandering to the very low population of transgender individuals, uh, talking about stances for trans rights, whatever that means, it doesn't really mean anything unless you're talking about... Uh, Things like using the bathroom they want to use or being in the military, those aren't actual rights, but you get what I'm saying. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to adhere? Why are you going out and making such a big stance for such a small part of the population? Does everybody matter? Of course, but why would you make such a harsh and grandiose stance when it's not going to benefit you very much? Are the same questions for Marvel and the people that make their m movies. Now, I would say to that, it's because there's an illusion that the media and social media creates that this is a huge opinion people have, it's a huge issue, and this matters to everybody when it's actually a very small percentage of the population. Now, take a look at this. According to Pink News, which I chose on purpose because they're a very pro and LGBT specific news site, um, but they do link to, other, to the source that other people have used as well. According to the Williams Institute, which is the one I'm talking about, in 2016, approximately 0.6% of adults in the United States identified as transgender. This translates to just over 1.3 million adults. This number shows a huge increase from the Institute study five years before. In fact, the percentage has doubled. So we can get into why that has happened. You could say people do it for attention. The rebuttal to that would be people feel more comfortable coming out as transgender, whatever. That's not the point here. But 0.6% of the population, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's not probably not wise to have that little amount of people swaying your financial decisions. Because we know, I think at this point we could say Hollywood's not doing it because it's the right thing to do and that uh, big movie companies don't do things because it's the right thing to do. It's, it's got to be for money. So I don't think that small of the population should sway your political decisions, your financial decisions. It's this illusion that it's such a big issue and such a big contention for people that I have a problem with. That That's what I see here. Thanks to mainstream media, of course, and to very loud activists. Now, that's up to Marvel if they want to do that. I don't have to watch the movies. It's just weird to say... It's just weird to see how jubilant they are in expressing it. Yes, absolutely yes. Like they just want to be accepted into the club and something magical is going to happen if, if they please the social justice overlords, as I say. Now, as they sit in their, uh, I don't know, pink furry thrones, I guess. Because listen to how this Marvel guy talks in the rest of the article. He also said Marvel would strive to be diverse and inclusive. Two movies coming out this year were directed by women and some of new shows coming to the Disney Plus platform also have female directors, he said. We have three other shows we've announced. We haven't announced the players yet, but spoiler alert, two out of three of them are women, Faith said. It makes for better stories. I say when you are sitting at a table and everyone looks like you, you're in trouble. You aren't going to get the best story out of that. When you are so desperate to be inclusive and sound tolerant, you start to say things that make you sound crazy, like this. Yes, absolutely yes. When everybody looks alike at a table, 
uh, that's bad. It, it doesn't make for a good movie. No, that's dumb. You want to know why it's dumb? You don't even have to go outside of Marvel to see that it's dumb. You know that movie called The Black Panther? That's a Marvel movie. Was it bad that Wakanda was all black people and the movie about a black superhero had all these black people in it? I bet he didn't say that because it's actually silly. And it's still silly when he says it now. Well, this movie about a black society and black superheroes, there's too many black people here. Uh, you won't get a good story out of that. Of course he's brainwashed and I think you can tell and I can tell without knowing exactly what he's thinking that when he thinks that there's too many people the same kind at the table he's talking about himself he's talking about white people i think that's a subtext that is pretty obvious that we can't prove of course but this is what the media does to you it brainwashes you into thinking reality isn't reality and what's something about 0.6 percent of the population is actually about 20 percent of the population and only what they say is true what you're seeing is not true but I'm sorry, you don't get praised for having content for women, by women. That just makes you the idiot if you think you deserve praise for that. You think it's weird, you think it's so edgy and so irregular that you have to point out, hey guys, we've got more women than men in this. That's a huge point that you can't over overlook. <laughs> and then you go on to make nonsensical claims that everybody can't look similar in a, in a movie setting. That's the most insane thing. These people in the 1920s are all dressed like people who look like they were in the 1920s in Western New York or something, or whatever it is. And now he wants praise for having something by women. Like, who cares if it's women? He's saying that like it's some sort of accomplishment. It's not. In fact, it's kind of insulting that you think just because there's women that that's an accomplishment, as if women shouldn't be there in the first place. You bigots. Women need content too, bro. According to Statista, in 2018, American men watched just over three hours of TV per day, and women watched about 2.6. And this does mirror across other studies that, uh, that I read. So I included this one because it's the prettiest graph. That men watch more. I would say that men, uh, that women probably watch more content in, across the board, different, uh, different shows and everything. But men probably watch the same type of content for longer. But that's just my guess. I can't prove that. I'm not a scientist. I just play one on TV. But also it's widely accepted that women read much more than wet than men, so that's where I'm kind of taking that from, take it as you will. So after this came out, Marvel essentially walked this statement back, and this Variety article, they mention, no Marvel Studios won't debut its first transgender character very soon, saying that Phage essentially didn't know what he was talking about, he was wrong about what movie he was referring to, and when he said a movie we're making right now, he was actually referring to a gay character in the movie Eternals. While Phage's answer appeared to respond to the specific question about a trans character, two sources close to the studio tell Variety that Phage only intended to respond to the first part about LGBT plus characters, and he did not mean to imply that a trans character will be coming to the MCU, quote, very soon. At the time of his appearance, the only MCU movie in production was Eternals, from director Chloe Zhao. In August, Phage confirmed that film, which stars a whole lot of people, looks like Selma Hayek, Jolie, Kit Harington, other people I've never heard of. We'll have the MCU's first major gig character, though Phage declined to specify who would be. They're so swept up in all of this. The, the, the Hollywood is such a spinning ball of conflicting information. No, it's not. It's actually flat. You can't prove that. <laughs> you have to try to please everyone, no matter how uh, fringe the demographic might be. Or you risk, I don't know, being, being deplatformed or depersoned. Maybe you're being shot. I don't know if it goes that far. But they don't even know what is what anymore. Oh, we need more trans character, but also more LGBT characters. Uh, what? That's the same thing? People can't look like, in, unless, except for some movies, unless it's women. But we also need more women directors. Take that, men. But also, no, it's not strange that there's women directors. Don't say that. Uh, what do we do without Robert Downey Jr.? We can't have this many people look alike. But what about Wakanda? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense, and this is why it gets so silly. So this is a perfect point to tell you that if you like my content, go to patreon.com slash Andrew Says. There's a new video on there that's exclusive if you sign up just $1 per month. Somebody said the other day, why do you whisper all the time? It's called timing, okay? <laughs> it's called effects. If you don't like my sound effects, you can get out. This has been Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. I wouldn't make a mistake about LGBT acronyms either, plus plus QQ2 spirit, zero times would I make a mistake about that. Thanks for watching.
Excuse me, Martin Scorsese. There's Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. There's too many Italian people in this. You can't, uh, we're not going to get any good content out of this. Too many Italians in this movie.